Well, outrage is building over long security lines at MSP International Airport. Today, Senator Al Franken said he's asked the TSA for more screeners. And as Senator Amy Klobuchar announced tomorrow she will bring the head of the TSA to the airport to see for himself how reconfigured checkpoints in Terminal 1 have made security lines dramatically longer. As Esme Murphy reports, that's exactly the opposite of what the TSA predicted. Six weeks ago, TSA offered sunny projections of what going from five smaller security checkpoints to two larger ones would do. So do they think that this is going to be a smoother, faster process than for travelers? That's exactly what we expect. The timing couldn't be better. In fact, the timing could not have been worse. During the spring break season of March and April, traffic at MSP can be up to 50 percent higher than on an average day. On top of that, overall airport traffic is up about 6 percent in recent years, and the number of TSA screeners is down more than 8 percent. And that's a recipe for security bottlenecks. No one should be waiting in line for, for 60 minutes. No one should miss a flight because of that. Senator Al Franken is asking the TSA for more screeners and authorization for overtime for existing screeners. The TSA has recommended passengers apply for TSA expedited check-in, but that requires making an appointment for an in-person interview and it costs $85. Is that something realistic for your family? Uh, not for a family of four, but an extra 85 bucks a person is way too much money for that. And yeah, you have to find the time. Minneapolis businessman and frequent traveler Nate Garvis says he has had to wait a month for his expedited check-in interview. It's inconvenient. As with anyone who's about to go on spring break, it's going to be really frustrating. So not only a bad design, bad time for the bad design. Now, those new checkpoints cost $17 million. That money comes from airport user fees like parking. As for why the TSA and the Metropolitan Airports Commission decided to reconfigure the checkpoints, it all started with another spring break crisis back in 2014 when TSA cuts made for, for some very long lines back then. As we, like you said, spring break is coming up. A lot of people are going to be traveling. So how far, in, how far in advance should people plan to get to the airport? Natalie, airport officials are recommending at least two and a half hours. People have been missing flights. Wow, that's a, that's a long time in advance. Thanks, Esme.